Hello welcome back, let's discuss about vernier caliper that is widely used in scientific society. In this video, you will find out the body parts of vernier caliper and how to measure length and depth by using it. So, let's start it now. As you know, rulers and meters are daily essentials in measuring length. Vernier calipers used to get accurate value, measurement, to measure length. There are three types of vernier calipers, like standard caliper, dial caliper and digital caliper. There are three main parts of vernier caliper. They are outer jaws, inner jaws and probe, stem. The outer dimension of the objects is measured by sandwiching the object between two of the outer jaws. Inner jaws are for measuring inner dimension, for example, the inner measurement of the cylinder tube or beaker. For depth, prop, stem can be used. Main scale and vernier scale are applied to describe the value of dimension in vernier caliper. Scales are in millimeter range and sometime in centimeter range. Here, it can be clearly seen that the correct ways to use vernier caliper. To check error reading, contact the zero point of main scale and vernier scale. If the zero of main scale and vernier scale overlap, it was indicated that the device have no error. If the zero of vernier scale beyond that of main scale, it was indicated that the device have positive error. If the zero of vernier scale ahead that of main scale, it was indicated the negative error. To get the accurate value, we must care about the ways to measure. So, let's check it carefully and measure with the correct ways. Before reading the scale, firstly sandwich the block between the jaw and lock the device. Find the overlap point. Here, it can be occurred overlapping at main scale, 25, and vernier scale, 7. At lowest right side, there is least count value. It is 0.1 millimeters. The unit is millimeter range. Then main scale reading we got is 11 millimeters. We have to read the place near zero value of vernier scale. Vernier scale reading is 7. Use the following equation. Finally, we got 11.7 millimeters. This value is total reading of the given block. The smallest reading which can be accurately measured with a vernier caliper is called its least count, LC. If you don't know the least count of vernier caliper, or if vernier caliper don't mention least count, you can calculate least count by using this equation. First, read the smallest reading on main scale and then count the number of divisions on vernier caliper. Then least count is the ratio of the smallest reading on main scale to the number of divisions on vernier caliper. For this device, least count is 0.1 millimeters. If you want more information, watch these two YouTube videos. So, quiz for today, please answer the following two exercises. Pause the videos to see the questions. Discuss and comment the answer in comment section. If you got something from us, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye see you in next videos.